Hi there. In this video we will be installing this air conditioner from Hisense. And if you are wondering who is Hisense, well, they are one of the biggest manufacturer of uh, TVs in China. And they also do, I don't know, white appliances or something like that. So washing machines and who knows what and also air conditioners. So let's get to it. Open the boxes, see what's inside and hope for the best. This is the particular model of the interior unit, 10 kilograms, the unit itself, 12 width packaging, uh, I think uh, cooling 500 watts of power, so it's not drawing that 5000 watts, it's not drawing that from your outlet, because uh, heat pumps, as air conditioners are, are uh, more efficient than, let's say, uh, a simple... Uh, I don't know, resistance or something like that, resistor, anyway, that would heat up only how much it actually draws from or cool down, although the resistor cannot cool down, but I hope you get my point, only as much as uh, it draws from the outlet, this can actually do more than that, by moving, uh, uh, I don't know, heat from one point to the other or something like that, anyway. Uh, I will link a video in the description that uh, explains a lot more about this than I could ever do. And for heating up, 5600 watts. That's enough for what I need. And the outside unit, yes, obviously same specs. Uh, this is the size of the packaging. Actually, no, of the unit itself. Sorry about that. And 34 kilos, the unit, 41 packaging included. For cooling A++, heating A+, good enough for me, and obviously it's an inverter. And yes, again, this is the model for the outside unit. Ah, dimensions for inside unit. And it's white and has Wi-Fi and all the bells and whistles, and it was much cheaper than other uh, known brands, and again, this is not a known name at all. So, I think I did good buying this brand, but we will see only in a few years of use. Now let's get inside the boxes. Okay, and now let's hope for the best if this would actually break. And it does break. So here we have the inside unit. This is an 18,000 BTU unit, so it is a bit larger than the 12,000 ones, for example, obviously. All seems good, so this polystyrene here, foil, and another packaging on top of the unit, so yep, no issues whatsoever. Now we will just take a look, uh, me and my father, because he installed this for a living for many, many years, we'll take a look at the cables and uh, what we actually got in here, to see if we have everything we need or we need to go buy something. Okay, so we took uh, a quick look at the pipes. This is 12 millimeter and this is seven millimeter pipes. So yeah, there's that. We must also check the power cables and see if we have everything to install it. Normally it should come with everything uh, available. That's what the listing from where I bought it said, but who knows. Also opened up the exterior unit because the cables are in here. I misunderstood when I thought they were in there. They are in here and they are quite thick which is good and have nice terminations on them but we will look at that later yep here we have the install kit so the thicker pipe the thinner pipe that's in here some rubber feet supports whatever you want to call them condensation hose yep all is good up until now but i think we need to buy some uh, mounting brackets for the wall from what i see they are nowhere to be found and this is the batch i don't think anybody cares and here we have some info so you can see the power that it actually consumes way less than it actually generates again heat pump marvelous things and this is the maximum amps that we, we will draw at 230 volts so 12.3 amps maximum used power 
2300 watts which is not a lot that's good where's my finger if you have a need to see this here it is so uh, yeah looking good now we need to buy those uh, supports that will go on the wall if you need anything from in here feel free to pause and read it and obviously under this plastic we have all the connections for these hoses plastic comes out but not for the moment getting ready to install this interior unit on the wall right up there where uh, preparations have been made when the house was built and we have a power socket uh, and now we are measuring so between this hole and this hole we have 44.5 centimeters with a level we will mark the holes drill, drill them 8 millimeter drill bit to use the included uh, fixing elements on the wall and uh, yeah hopefully all will be good and then we will drill a big hole we will have somebody come and drill it uh, right around here to get uh, the pipes uh, to the outside of the house itself and for the electrical connection I think the wire will be coming through this uh, and going to that power socket or maybe I will find no on the top I don't see any way to do it so presumably through there to remove this wall bracket we need to pull on push actually on that and it comes out and when it's on the wall we have that hole to which we can push with a screwdriver or something but at the moment it's not required because we do have access and I can get it out and in here as you can see it only hangs onto this nothing else so now let me mark on the wall make sure it's level and uh, that should be good making sure the support is level right there obviously that one says the same thing but I cannot really reach to show you that one but I, this is the one that I'm checking and yeah we are marking directly with the support on the wall I'm not using this to measure the distance in the end simpler to just mark through the support make sure you have the middle of the AC on the wall and then a middle of uh, the support also marked and I just moved it so I need to readjust it and the support is on the wall now we just need to measure and make a mark where we need the hole to get everything to the outside extended the power wire this is 3 or 2.5 millimeters so it's actually thicker than this which is 3 or uh, 1.5 millimeter but uh, yeah I want it to be a bit uh, stronger if I'm adding something at least add something that's stronger uh, here each wire cut at different lengths soldered insulated each one of them then a big insulation on top of all of them then a heat resistant insulation then another heat shrinking insulation on top so this isn't going anywhere now let's start uh, I made sure that I have the proper amount of wire after everything is said and done coming out of the unit to my socket above it and from here which is aligning with something on the wire I think with this we will start to wrap everything up add the extension and everything and then also connect the really thick wire black one right there into the internal unit as the diagram will show us my father says that now when he will open this some air should be esca escaping from it so we will see if that will happen hopefully yes you can hear the air so that means in here we don't have any leaks which is perfect and now obviously also open this one up yes so this had uh, that in there to be sealed this will not make any noise because we already opened up the other one so the pressure is out and this is not the cooling uh, uh, liquid inside of it 
or gas inside of it. This is just some pressure uh, which helps you determine if everything is actually okay. Rotated the AC face up, opened it up. It just has these little latches which go in there so when you pull from the edge from here it lifts up. Same on other side. And now we need to open this up because here we have the connections and the wires will be coming in through the back and will be reaching in this area. If you want to see any info about it, here it is. When you put in the wire, it will come through here somewhere. Maybe you can see my fingers moving down there. Something's wiggling around, so there's just free air in this area. Look at my fingers. So you, you will bring it here. In here you will clamp it. And these are the connections. And this is the particular diagram that we are using. And here we have the wire. Yes, there are a few tiny wires in there. Nothing that I can do about them. We will crimp this in place and connect it in there. Again, after this diagram, it actually tells us the colors. Yes, in Romanian, I will show you at the end how I connect them. From the ground, we need to cut this part of it. My father says that many models have the grounding somewhere else. So the cable is universal, it will not go in there, obviously. So I need to cut this part off and then put it in there and crimp it, uh, tighten it in place like we did with the others. And these are the colors, their order, considering what's written on the connector, which is exactly what we have here. So yeah, let's continue. We can put back the cover in here, put back its screw and go on with it pushed on the connector this water hose that we bought. It's standard for AC and now we just need to use some tape all around to make sure it will not come out and we don't also have water coming out. Getting ready to connect the ticker pipe to that one and you need to check on it to make sure you do not have any cracks right at the end and we don't. It's all looking good so now we basically tighten them together. Both pipes are tightened in place. Do not over tighten this, but also make sure they are tight. So, <clears throat> and then cut a bit. This was one piece, cut half of it. We will put it in here on top of these pipes and start using somewhere the material to make everything in a bundle together. Preparing everything. This is bent exactly measured where we have the hole in the wall. And now, with this kind of tape, we will start and wrap everything up. Always keep the water pipe at the lowest. Do not allow it to go above other things because you will get stagnant water. And it's ready to go into the wall. And now the fun begins. pushed everything that was wrapped to, uh, together through the 50 millimeter hole in the wall. Cable ready to be connected and now tomorrow morning we will see what we deal with outside. Next step, put the supports on the wall. Make sure you buy some that are decently thick and strong. This one seems to be really good. This is their box but yeah, not sure if you can find them in other countries. Okay, so attached the supports to the wall with proper fasteners for this type of wall with spacer because uh, spacers because this is uh, insulated and it will just crumble if I try to tighten anything on it. So I put spacers. I'm using the rubber uh, buffers that this uh, comes with and. Uh, yeah, everything seems to be good. I just need to tighten the four screws, used two letters to at the same time lift it up and place it out there. And uh, then we need to make the connections. I, I, I honestly really forgot to film uh, doing all the holes and whatnot, but that depends a lot on what you are attaching this to. If it's bricks, cement or who knows, wood, who knows what. So yeah, up until now all is good. Okay, we are preparing to make the connections 
as you can see everything is okay in here tightened those uh, put some um, auto locking nuts on them just to make sure everything doesn't move this is the perfect length this is longer because we extended it so i will need to cut it and use this type of thingies on the wire ends and connect everything in here but now remove the plastic covers remove also the plastic covers from here big pipe in there tighten it in place small pipe in here and tighten it in place do not do anything uh, to these two ends yet these are connected everything wrapped used zip ties to hold it onto these uh, brackets i really like they have predefined holes for that really good uh, make sure you wrap it like this because otherwise the foam will rot quite fast so yeah now we are doing a pressure test at 8 bars, more or less, we will leave it like that, pressure created with that that my father has from when he was installing ACs, it's an old refrigerator compressor, now I'm connecting the wires right in here and as you can see this is at its limit, so make sure you don't leave even this more than you should inside we didn't leave and it's still at the limit so for high sense if you are watching this video make it about this longer 10 20 centimeters longer it will be better but hey there's that we will not have the same issue with this one as it's way longer we extended it with two meters to have a white cable inside let me just connect this and get back to you cut this wire to length which is the one bringing power from inside never ever plug that one in before you are finished and everything is in working order and you can start the AC uh, made the connections with this type of ferrules at the end we have the common ground which will also take ground to the inside unit and I have just two more wires to connect as you can see brown uh, from inside to line to zero gray to one line blue uh, I think this is uh, I cannot remember the name in English neutral or something like that which is two SI four black wire ground where ground is and we have live the brown and neutral the blue one let me just connect those and we are done as for pressure still 8 psi a actually 8 bars psi it's above 100 from what i can see there on the that graph but i'm looking at bars do you remember that on this wire i actually cut part of uh, the ground the loop well that was dumb because that was the end that we needed to connect in here so normally in here you just connect the wire coming from the socket there and the second ground you are taking it from here but nah, I put two of them in here they are fully tightened so nothing moving anywhere but yep uh, don't do that okay uh, all wires connected now I'm just going to put the cover back on but this wire will not go in its proper position because of the length so I might need to make a little hole in the cover right in the corner we will see ha. managed to pull on the bundle after cutting those initial zip ties and putting new ones just enough so this is in here and as you can see it's even a bit loose so no issues whatsoever now this still eight bars and the neighbor's dog this goes in there if I could do it but I need both hands and it's done I will not put any holes it can go directly on the ground I don't care now we are connected to the other side of the compressor so it will pull a vacuum and in theory this should go uh, down it will go quite slowly but you might see it if you look closely it is going down 
so be back in a moment now that we have a vacuum in these pipes i will undo this as quick as i can but not on video because that will take me longer now i'm going to put back the cover tighten it with a key and then simply we will release this uh, i will ask my father in each which order if it actually does matter or not this is tightened in place opened up both covers and now we have the i don't know valves deep in there which are closed so with this thingy we will open them up so be back in a second you should hear some noises when uh, opening them up both of them are fully opened up like this now I'm just putting back the covers and in theory I can plug it in and it should work. I heard when I released this I heard the uh, refrigerant going into it so should be good because we already tested everything apart from this unit but if it made noise it means that it had refrigerant in so this part is also tested. Everything is tested basically. Yes, you could do this blindly without uh, testing, without pulling a vacuum. If you don't have over 3 meters of pipes, so you only use the included ones, in theory you are okay, but yeah, we had them, so why not? Okay, on this other side of the AC, put that on the wall to hold everything a bit uh, stiffer in there. Put uh, the stuff that you get with it, it's like... I don't know, child's play doh, but obviously it's meant for this. Put it in the hole so nothing can get into there. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Put in the cover uh, onto the pipes. And now let's get in and power it on. Next step, put the batteries in the remote, but I'm going to use some Vartas. Uh, I don't want them leaking in the remote. As you can see, we have the temperature sensor, so it knows what temperature it has where the remote is. It has this bracket that will go on the wall. I, for me, it looks a little bit cheap, the bracket, honestly. And it just enters that, that hole right there. At the bottom, it will be able to wiggle around. So, yeah, I... Not that happy with the bracket itself, but anyway, it's better than nothing, I, I guess. And maybe you want to take it with you so it knows the temperature wherever you are, but we will see. I don't know what these are for, so I will also check the manual. Maybe I need to put them somewhere, maybe I don't. Hopefully I don't. But hey, there's that. Let's power this thing on. To adjust the time, you long press on the clock button and then from up and down you adjust it and I think I'm right about here so uh, what is okay here maybe from clock again yep and we adjusted the time I have no idea what that is and basically oh maybe super no that's super who knows we'll see need to read the manual weirdly enough and yes, it has a backlight, which is great. A green backlight and also protection foil, which I will peel in a moment. My father noticed from where we are missing those two little covers. Something like this, if I could actually do it. Yeah, I need both hands. Something like this, it will go in there. And if you need to, you can use a screwdriver, a flat one to get them out again. And uh, Hisense, if you are watching this video, stop putting labels on the bottom of this because they are directly to be seen. So I need to take all of them and basically uh, open up the cover from both sides and stick them in here on the cover somewhere so I don't always see them. What? Why are you doing this? Plug it in and by default it powered on. So now, I don't know. Let's see how yeah, doesn't doesn't seem to care what I'm doing with the remote. So I'm not really sure how that works. I need to read the manual. Yeah, it wasn't working the remote because I was directly underneath it. So from a bit uh, from the front, it's working perfectly. I'm not seeing that flicker of the temperature. I think you can set it off if you don't want the display, but I want to see it. 
Now that's something that I was hoping I would never hear. I think the fan is actually rubbing on some plastic. You start it, it does not make the noise and after a few minutes, probably when some plastic starts to contract, it starts making this noise. Awesome. Damn it, high sense. Well, hi there. This thing is opened up. We removed the top cover from it. It has a few clips on top of it and four screws in front of it. I'm not going to go into details because you shouldn't be doing this. This is more a service uh, thing, but because my father worked for so many years doing exactly this, installing and fixing stuff like this, yes, we are trying to see what is making the noise. The fan initially zero noise. It has a balancing metal right here to be dynamically balanced. It's in place, nothing is rubbing. So when this get, gets cold, something happens. Here it has a bearing in a rubber, uh, in a rubber bushing to allow it to float, to say like that, to find its own good position. But something is happening. One of these plastics starts to rub on the fan. I don't see yet which one of them. If you're wondering, this is the temperature display module. This is the Wi-Fi module and many other things. Yes, we could have unplugged this, not get them out of the front plate, but yeah, it was easier at the moment. On the principle of now I'm not doing it anymore because you are looking, well, it's not doing it anymore. But to be fair, I moved uh, that fan quite a lot from the, the bearing on the left side, pushed a lot on it, so I might have popped it back in place if something was moved and I, I grabbed onto the plastics, moved everything just to make sure that if something is not in the final position it will clip. Maybe that was it. I don't know, I will play with it for half an hour, an hour and then put back the cover and hope for the best because there's nothing else that we can do. And yes, if I forgot to show you the hole in the wall, that's the hole in the wall through which everything uh, goes outside. And remember again, the condensation hose needs to be the lower in that bundle. About half an hour later, zero noise whatsoever, so... Uh, hey? What? Why are you not shutting off? Ah, that thing is backwards, so it needed to have uh, the infrared reflect from the window into it. Oh well, so it's shutting off now. It has a weird shut off procedure, it does not shut off instantly. So there's that, or at least I hope it's shutting off. Is it? Yep, now it's shutting off. You can see the infrared sound sensor right there. That black one. But this again has a weird shut off procedure. It takes a while to go off. But once the display is off, it is actually in the shutdown procedure. Everything seems to be working quite okay. The exterior unit is not too loud. So we are good to go. You can see the condensation coming out from the hose, lots of it. It's been running for a few hours now, absolutely no issues whatsoever anymore. So that's great. It's been running on uh, with the fan almost at full, so it does create a little bit of noise. But as you can see, the idea is that uh, the light is not from it. <laughs> so it's not creating that blue light, it's from something else. Um, the idea is that it's on these stairs, so it's trying to cool down the whole house, so I need the fan to be moving quite a lot of air. So I accept a little bit of noise, I don't live on the stairs, so yeah. 
Now let me just quickly go through the remote and connect to it via Wi-Fi. As I always do lately in my videos, a quick browse to the manual. If you don't have it anymore or you never had it, feel free to pause at any time. This is the manual for the remote. I'm not going to go through all of the function functions, I'm just going to uh, give you a quick tour. Did I show the right pages? At the uh, end of showing this manual. Because weirdly enough, many people in my videos have uh, uh, told me that, that uh, the manuals have helped them. Not everybody is able to to search easily for PDFs and for older products many times PDFs are no longer available. So mode from here we change camera focus please, dehumidifier, ventilation, heating or cooling. Fan speed right there, auto, slower, 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 slowest. Oh no, this is lowest. So it has many speeds, but I normally leave it somewhere around here. In the corner, the battery level and the time that I already showed you and here temperature up and down. Super, at least my understanding, it goes full beans. So it does its best to uh, cool it as quick, uh, cool as quickly or heat as quickly as possible. In smart mode, I've got no clue what that is. Presumably it has something to do with the fact that it has Wi-Fi and I can control it with my phone. How do I get out? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with that. I don't know. Must check the manual. For uh, I feel it's using this so it will tell it directly from the remote uh, the temperature. Sleep, uh, I think it will just make less noise for night, for example, clock to set the clock, timer on, timer off, you can set uh, times. Hey, sleep and quiet. Hmm. From dimmer, I know for a fact that it will uh, stop the uh, LED display on uh, the unit itself. Economy, Maybe it will go into a low power mode to consume as uh, less power as possible, presumably. But quiet and sleep, I need to check on them and smart. So, be back in a second. Man, things are getting more and more complicated with electronics these days. So yes, sleep mode gets you the most comfortable possible sleep, but it has, as you can see, more modes. Then, yes, obviously, you can lock and unlock the remote if you have children in the house, that's awesome. Dimmer, exactly what I told you. It will just shut off the LEDs on the unit itself. I feel it will check the temperature where you are, but you need to leave this pointing at the AC when you are putting it into something. If it's reversed, probably it will not work because it uses IR. Although it shows when you do something, it shows a sign like a Wi-Fi. Nope, IR. Economy, it will consume presumably less, but this translation right here doesn't tell us anything. Quiet mode, low noise, so you can even maybe use this for night, who knows, not only sleep mode. Timer, yeah, heat, whatever, super mode. This thing is, yeah. And the smart button, you will get this with our model, the one from this video, because it's a heat pump, not only for cooling. Basically, it will try to make 25, 26 degrees if it's set to cooling, or it will dry the air, fan only, I have no idea what it will do. And for heating, it will try to make 22 degrees in its own way by controlling everything. You don't set anything, it does all. So, yeah. And ours does not have the adjustment horizontally. There are just some mechanical things that you move with your hand. So there's that. Yep. And we have all kind of weirdness with, I saw something power mode. Yeah. Anyway, I don't even want to know too much. Next.
Let me install this particular app, Connect Life, and see how Wi-Fi is on this model. Is it any good? If you need the QR code for the app, hopefully you can scan it from here and for iOS from here. Let's play with it. Okay, so we have installed the Connect Life app. Let's open it. We need to get started device location only while using the app so we need to create an account i will create it and be back in a moment creating the account if you want to check the boxes directly from the start you cannot you need to tap on this and uh, back sorry i had my screen recording right on that button so i couldn't press it and only now you can create your account. So I'll be back when the verification code is available in my email. Next step, private information. Do they also want my uh, shoe number? I, why, for a simple little app. I know there are lots of ecosystems and Presumably this one is one of them from Hisense, but whew, it's so tiring having all of these companies with their own apps and ecosystems. Anyway, let me just input something in. Yeah. Ultimate. DIY. Yeah. Phone number. Whatever. This is not mandatory. Sign in. Head appliances and presumably it will find it I hope or not just realized it cannot actually find it because it's not connected to my network yet so I need to scan the QR code which presumably is on the AC somewhere hmm which is on the wall really high so that will be fun be back after I scan it Okay, so literally tried to scan the QR code, the only one that I found on, on the unit did not work. I tried manual entry with this uh, with the code did not work. So at this point split air conditioner and I'm going to try and follow this procedure and see if it works. Finally got it in the connecting mode by pressing after powering it on this button horizontal uh, slider although this AC does not have that option but by pressing this button six times it went into connecting mode huh, that was fun just another info if your remote doesn't have this horizontal uh, button then you need to press the sleep button eight times but if it has this, you press this six times because pressing this eight times will not work. And now we click on next. Yes, it's enabled. Open settings. This one. We are connected. Now get back. Next. And we will connect to uh, yeah, connect. My phone is a bit crazy, doesn't like to connect to networks that don't have internet and uh, the AC does not provide internet. Yes, this is our network and I need to enter my password, so be back. And then uh, simply click uh, connect right here. Appliance is connecting, presumably I uh, set the right password because I don't really remember my Wi-Fi password. Yep. It was the right one. So now enter a room name. Default room. Save. Hey. And as you can see, we have everything in here. Like you would have on a remote and even more manuals service, appliance options, appliance information, nice.
that's cool. And at this point I'm completely in a different uh, position, so obviously not using the remote. Let me see if I can change this. And I hear the AC beeping in the background. Hey, yep, said su successfully. So it is doing what I'm telling it. Let's see, fan speed. You can see here, you can set it directly and they also have names. That's nice. Airflow, up, down, wind, that's all that this one can do. Sleep, quiet mode, energy saving, fast heating, unit of temperature if you are into Fahrenheit, but we are with Celsius uh, over here. And yes, uh, as you can see, you cannot quickly, oh, you can switch between them quickly, but you need to wait for the AC to give its uh, confirmation. So don't change them too quickly or you don't know on what you are left. And you can set automation, add scenes, what trigger, ah, okay, yes, it's from their, uh, their little universe of appliances, you could uh, set things, but you can also set it time-based directly from the app, now need to use uh, the timer on the remote, so, yeah, anyway, there's that, and you can set actions, but no need for us let's get back okay then i can obviously share the device with somebody else if i make them an account and install the app on their phone that's about it we are connected it's working i can power this thing on before reaching home which is quite nice and you know that i was telling you i don't like the stand doesn't have any stopper right here in the front any little piece of plastic would have helped to make sure this doesn't happen which i don't like at all something like this it's a much much better support for a remote this is from a, a smart light to say like that a hundred times better so I've been playing around with this app and honestly it has about all that you would need. I also played around with some automations like turning on the AC uh, at a certain hour at 9 in the morning and shutting it off at 11. But then I realized am I this lazy? Maybe in some days it's not hot enough outside to worth turning on the AC in the morning. So. No, I cancelled them, then I played a bit around uh, setting it when it's above 27 degrees Celsius, setting it to cooling and when it's below 26, just uh, setting it to fan mode, but then I realized, wait, this also isn't really worth it, because if I let it on 26 degrees always when it's on, this is an inverter, this thing can uh, adjust how much the compressor is actually working, the speed of the compressor. So it's not just wasting power, it's actually kind of smart in itself to use less power. So yeah, so fan auto, cooling mode, 26 degrees Celsius and I'm just turning on or off when I need to and uh, that's about it. But yeah, the app kind of has a bit of everything and you can create automations from uh, the AC itself. You go to set trigger and you have manual, time based or appliance status. You choose the AC and se select different thingies that you want to be the trigger. For example, the temperature higher than or higher than or equal to who knows what. Then you create it, you save it, or actually you need to give it a name. Anyway, create, ah, and you need to add an action, I don't know, power off, for example. Save it, so, yeah. 
uh, you can do all sorts of things obviously i'm not going to keep this i created a nonsense presumably if i would think about it but anyway kind of smart i like this little app and the ac in itself it's working beautifully and it's the only ac in the whole house and it's managing to keep uh, basically kind of two floors it's somewhere in the middle and it's keeping them at decent temperature not at 26 they will never reach that i think even if it's working fully all the time it's impossible it has too much air to cool down but uh, yeah at manageable temperatures I, I don't feel the heat anymore so i don't sweat i yeah it's good so at 18,000 btu it's quite nice for a whole house so that's about it for this video i think it ended up kind of long like most of my videos do but i try to show everything the ac is working perfectly that noise uh, did not come back uh, and i hope it will never come back but if it does then we'll take another look and i will uh, tell you in the comments overall everything is working exactly as it should plenty of cooling power i didn't test heating because we are in the middle of the summer i presume also that one will work and uh, yeah that's about it if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments but i do recommend you get this one i don't see any issues whatsoever and my father that many many years uh, did this for a living says that all that he saw is good materials and that's great so yeah as always see you in the next one and bye